today's Extra. We're back in the Anglers Extra pregame show. Today, Chatham takes on Hyannis at McKeon Park. Joe Puccio here with Chatham manager Tom Holiday for the manager show. Tom, yesterday a three-hour and 40-minute game. Did you get enough sleep last night? Yeah, just barely. I mean, you wake up and take a shower and start putting your lineup together, and before you know it, you're back on the yard. So yesterday, a 10-10 tie against Brewster. What was your biggest takeaway from that game? Well, it was 10-10, it was and we had one bad inning on the bump, and I mean, that's going to happen. You know, guys that haven't pitched in a year, uh, his first inning last night was electric. I mean, really, really good. And the second guy hits a three-run dinger and a hitter's count. So what? Three runs, all right? And then and later on in the same inning, it happens again. And, you know, you can't get guys ready in the bullpen like you can and, well, like we will later. But right now, most all these guys were starters, so it takes so long to get them ready to go. And I didn't think Durkee would hit the wall that quick. I thought maybe after three. But so, you know, you go to your pen, and Finitary was really good. And Solis came in, did his thing. So the final score is 10 10. And we both did, you know, basically the same thing. Uh, I thought the first five innings offensively, we were really good. I mean, I like that. You know, we're. We're picking up a run. I thought the game turned when we had two on and one out and didn't get anybody in in the, in the fifth inning. So uh, a tie is a tie. It's better than a loss. But um, my, my take on the whole game was, um, hey, that's your first game. Um, until you get your your everyday guys here, you just I'm trying to watch to see who's going to stick around. Which position player jumped out to you? Well, you know, I thought uh, Jansen Reeder was really good last night with a bat. And, uh, and then he goes back in that fly ball. He got there, foreign territory. He catches it, and he's up against the wall. He hits the bar, knocks the ball loose. I mean, it's kind of a shame because he had a great night going. And um, I, I thought he played really good. And, and I like Sprague a lot. I thought he played good last night, you know, especially with a bat. Um, you know, got some concerns, too. You, know, you watch it, and you walk away. You're not, you know, overly tickled. Ten runs should make you uh, a winner every night, every time you play, but it didn't. And my concern is, is not so much the arms, it's more about establishing a team that can play defense to win tight games. And uh, I like the 10th inning rule with a runner second, I really like that. I think it, it kind of gives you like second game. You know, if it's not done at nine and the, second, the 10th inning is exciting. And I thought, you know, they did it one way, we did it the other, and neither one of us scored, so. Yeah, Brewster put out the bunt. Do you think that that'll be common this year? I don't know. I don't know what everybody's going to do. I really don't know. That's kind of the fun part of it. I mean, you know, I get back and I'm sitting there thinking, should I have tried to get him a third? Because, you know, things can happen when a runner's a third and one out. The wild pitch wins a game. Um, yeah, you gave three guys a shot to get a, a big base hit, and it didn't happen. So look at it two ways. I got three guys that didn't get it done. Or should have bunted to win the game. So next time we play, you might do a little bit different. Tom Holliday here on the Manager's Show. Tom, you have Trey Gibson to Carlos Ray today. What do both of those pitchers offer to you? Well, from what I saw with Gibson the other day and the, the, the brief showing that we get, you know, we got like a bullpen and a, a session with four live hitters. Uh, he was almost as electric as uh, Dirk. Um, big, strong guy, really, really good arm, really good breaking ball. Uh, and another guy I can't wait to get on the mound. Uh, Carlos Ray I've had. You know, I'm anxious to see if he's any better than last year. I mean, I, I thought he was good last year. Uh, now he's in his draft year, and you know what I fear the most? I fear kids coming out here this early, the ones that are here to try to, you know, showcase type thing. Oh, no. That kind of thing. And, I really want the guys that are going to be here all summer. Pressure. But until the draft where it's at, it's there. It, it exists. You can't do anything about it. So you have this early season pressure. What do you hope that your players take away in these first couple weeks? Well, I'll wait until we get a time through, and then I'm going to talk to them about, you know, now it's time to start playing for the team. That's a hard thing to ask right off the bat. Most of them don't even know the coaching staff's names. You know, and you're asking them, you know, to like try to unite them as a group. That'll happen, and you've seen it. Like last year at the end, last 20 games, we were we were a really good ball club to watch. 
Uh, the body in, body out thing is not my favorite thing. And I tried to go with some older kids this year instead of younger kids. I hope it works, but trying to turn them into a team, is it's really hard. It really is. And, and I used to love that, that part of coaching. And now they come in here with different reasons to be in here. So I got a conversation every morning with an agent about his client. And then you have to you have the coaches that don't want kids up here because they think that schools are up here poaching them. And I mean, these are elements that I don't control, and I got to put up with it. And like, well, you know, maybe he only needs to go a couple of times. Kids don't see it that way. They're ready to go. And um, I don't know, but I'd, I'd like to solve some of the problems, but nobody wants to listen. And then we have that thing USA coming in right in the middle of the summer and. They're going to gobble up two of my guys. Two, and two guys that really want to be here. That's what bothers me. They want to be here, but how can they turn USA down? Well, I can tell you how to turn it down. Say no. You know, but, you know, then you got to go through the same thing. You got an agent saying, ah, eh, go there for a week or 10 days and then go back. And then you got USA saying, come here for 10 days and then go home, shut it down. So it's like, hey, can't win. Can't win. That's Tom Holiday on the manager show. Tom, thanks for the time. You got it. A's and Harbor Hawks coming up at 6 p.m. Let's send things over to Andrew Selliver for the rest of the Anglers Extra Free Game Show.